Is there a way to do this so it doesn't hurt? No. Beauty is pain. Boy, George must really suffer. Missy, I need a moment with Paige. Make it quick. I'm only half beautiful. Yeah? I'm listening. To what? To you. I'm not saying anything. Well, if you wanted to say anything, I'd be listening. But I don't want to say anything. And I don't want to be listening, but here we are. Are you feeling better yet? You're being weird. Hmm. Not in the usual way. Guess that's my life now. What do you mean? Everyone is acting weird. My mom is going on dates, and my dad is acting like a child. My sister's crying all the time. I just wish that everything could go back to the way it was. I don't think it will. It turned out I was really good at listening. The trick is to sit there, and when you want to leave, don't. I have to live in two separate houses, and my grandma says the meanest things about my dad. I know that everyone is upset that I'm not doing well in school. It's just hard to care. Everything that used to seem important to me just doesn't anymore. So I guess, really, I just feel alone. That sounds hard. Yeah, it is. Dr. Sturgis was right. There was nothing I could do to fix this. Or so I thought. Can I offer you a hot beverage? That would be nice. Be right back. The hot beverage of comfort would become my go-to method of dealing with someone in emotional distress. And it always worked. Except when my wife was in labor, where it was suggested I throw it in my own face. What you doing? Paige is feeling sad, so I'm making her a hot beverage. Oh, you're a good kid. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Of all my accomplishments, I don't know why he singled this moment out, but I'm glad he did. Sup?